up his dang eyes, see the sign. There we are. Sorry, mate. Beautiful. Cold? That's all right, to be fair. It's not too bad. What was the, uh, what was the experience like in Australia? It was amazing. Yeah, it was good. Um, you get to see a lot of places like Sydney, Melbourne. Um, obviously, the weather where I was in Brisbane, it was, it was all year round just hot. Like It was a good experience, and the football was good, going to good stadiums, playing against some good players and that. Um, good experience there, so I enjoyed it. It's good. Yeah, um, lots of people ask about that. I suppose I don't really know the answer. But how would you kind of um, what level do you have pitch maybe compared to like? Yeah, I've had that quite a lot. To be fair, um, I don't know. It's quite tough to say. I'd like to think if if teams from England, like League One, League Two, were to go over there and play, I think the conditions would hit them, so they'd struggle. But then I think if teams over there came to play, yeah, I think they'd struggle with the physical side of it um, but there's a lot of football to be played like in Australia they try and play from the back quite a lot it's not really like group one or anything like that so is that your kind of is that your style as well yeah I like to try and play yeah as much as I can anyways um, no nah, but I can't really compare to be honest it's tough to anyways it's quite, but a, quite a young league right? <laughs> so yeah like yeah yeah yeah, it is, yeah, well, 15 or something, yeah. There's quite a lot of young players as well, um, which is always good, but then there's, on the other hand, there's quite a lot of old players as well, like Diamante. Um But to be fair, like, he's he's still incredible, like. Um, I spoke, well, probably a couple of months ago. Um, I spoke, as soon as I spoke to the gaff, I knew I wanted to sign here anyways. Um, but I kind of went quiet for a while because I had quite a lot of games left to play. Um, I just really wanted to concentrate on that. But yeah, I'd say maybe, maybe six weeks to two months ago. So when was the last time you were actually in, in Britain? Um, it was September last year. I think it was. Yeah, I just come back for a Maybe it's three, four weeks to see the family and stuff. Yeah, it was finished then, and then it doesn't. To be fair, like the pre seasons are quite long in Australia, and then all of a sudden, like the game just come thick and fast. Are you a Newcastle fan? Yeah. yeah. So imagine you're quite looking forward to playing Sunderland. Absolutely, yeah. Can't wait for that one. Is that the first fixture you looked out for? It actually was, yeah, just because it's close to home as well, just the, um, all my mates and that want to go to that one, so... It's a big game. Yeah. Um, I have once, um, I remember being on the bench when I was at Carlisle, I couldn't play Plymouth. And it was packed, like, it was, the crowd was class as well, so that's how I remember. Um, but I knew it was a big club as well. So as soon as this one got mentioned, that was it, that was it. what I to get done. Yeah. Um, that's actually a tough one, that, isn't it? Obviously, I'd like to do as well as I possibly could. And you want to try and play as high as you possibly can as well, can't you? So, is it too ambitious to say, like, obviously, game promotion with this club? Like, to the championship, like, that's, that should be... I think that should be a name, should it? That's some out. I'll aim for anyways. Um, nah, but just to play play as many games as I can and, and progress as a player and as a person. Which is I think should be everyone's ambition every season. I've seen the pitch as well, it looks unbelievable the pitch like. Is it in carpet, is it? Yeah, it's in yeah. yeah. carpet. Well, there's a carpet in it. Unreal. 